from wherever you are, my viewer. My viewer, thank you very much for joining this. I want to bring you how paper three practical is added to paper one and paper two. Recently, last year, 2020, it was 2023, 24, 25, 26 up to 27, when the cases KCSE will come to an end, this is the way they have been doing it. So, I usually say something here, and then uh, I see some critics, uh, people criticizing what they do not know. I am not saying that, that you don't criticize, but when you are saying there is something else, you need to give us the second part. Or if you say something is not true, then you should give us the true one. That's what I'm saying. So, I'm going to bring you the examiner. And I want to bring you the examiner. He will tell you what he said, and that is the exact thing. I thank God because it is very good for students. If you get paper 1, 10, chemistry, physics, and biology, if you get zero, in fact, if you get zero, paper 1, you get zero, paper 2, then practical, you get 30. You, did you hear what I said? If you get practical 30, paper 1 is 0, paper 2 is 0, then you will have 37%. You understand? So I don't want to empty. At towards the end, we will do calculations and you will be able to see what we are talking about. If you pass paper 3, you will get a good grade. You will see for those who did well in practical. Now, I want to leave it well on this paper. That is two and three, stop three. Uh, I was privileged to be an examiner in 2014. I first started marking the first exam in 2015. That is the first time I handled the paper, the Kenya, the Kenya National Examination Cash. That's exactly what I did. 2015, I joined in 2014. That I did the first marking from 2015. And uh, I want to say that sport has been so massive. Because since that time, 2015, I have never missed a market. Since 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, we are there twice. Because of we were there on market. At the same time, we were there on was it the same. I want to thank God for that. And because of that, I want to believe that I have enough information that I can relate to students and assist them in this. Now, uh, the other papers, uh, I want us to give you an overview. The other papers is, uh, we have, the first one, we have uh, paper one. Chemistry has three papers. We have paper one, which is back, uh, out of uh, eight. Then we have paper two, which is marked out of uh, eight. Then we have paper three, which is marked out of uh, eight. It's marked out over 40. <clears throat> However, though this paper is marked out over 40, the two papers are normally combined and marked out over 60, and they automatically add whatever you get in the practical. So that now this one carries it is all the marks, but it carries 50% of the of the of your of your, of your uh, overall grade of chemistry. This one is also marked out over 50. So the whole paper is out of <laughs> Now, for that reason, they have... And tell me that you and him, who is more? Who has more experience than the other? Do you think you are more intelligent than this man? So, be patient. Tulia Ufunzo. <clears throat> I want you to understand that now what the examiner says is that uh, uh, 
Nowadays, practical, we know it is out of 40. It is marked out of 40. So out of 40, then it is converted to 50. So if a student gets 40 out of 40, then 40 divided by 40, so this student has 50% are already in paper 3. That is what you need to know currently what's happening. So what it means, if you score 25, so that is 25 over 40 times 50. 25, that is 25 in practical. So that is 125 divided by 4. So it means if you get 25, you have already 31, that is 32 percent in, in, in chemistry. It, if, if, if you get paper 1, assuming that you get 0, which is not possible, assuming that paper 2, you get 0, which is not possible for you to score 0. Are you getting that? So, <clears throat> and then score paper 3, 25. That is now that here you are going to have 32 percent generally. You are going to have 32 percent as the grade. Sciences have been very easy. Now, so assuming a student will score, will score 20 in paper 1, 25 in paper 2, and a 30 in paper, in paper 3. Now look what will happen. So paper 1 and paper 2, the student will have 20 plus 25 divided by 160. Because above paper 1 is in out of 80. Paper 2 is in x out of 80. So 80 plus 8 in 160. And this one is converted to 50%. So that one is 14%. Then paper 3, Need 30 out of 40, and then you bring it to 50. Those two students will have 30 times 50 divided by 40. At a corner, 37.5, and then plus 14. Plus 14. So your student at a corner. 52%, which is can be even be a P plus or a P minus. In chemistry, it can be a P minus or a P plus. I mean, I'm a part of zero, paper one, and paper two. Now, part of paper three, 30. It means, and I'm a part of 38%. That is 38% in any. We are an C. This one could be a C, even a C plus, depending on.